Some of the workers at these food places does act like they own the place. Forgetting that, without customers, they out of a job. Now you pay five thousand five hundred and something dollars for eight piece family size, right? Look what church is giving you. I could imagine this. Look, that's almost coughing in my hand. This is a leg, right? I don't know if this is a chicken leg or this is from a pigeon or a dove, right? Look at this. Literally hiding in my hands. Look. Yeah, look what church is doing. Church is linden. Right? So, I want you to share this around. Let people see the kind of scam. And the rest of, and the, rest of the calling chicken is a set of these things that they, you know, with the soaking, with the scarlet, the butter, or whatever. This is what take over the chicken. Right? So, yeah, I share this. Let churches see it. Look. Churches in Linden. I just bought it about a couple of minutes ago. And apart from this, add it to this as well. Don't answer about the attitude you got to face when you got the counter. The customer service is shitty. Zero out of ten. You understand? That's why I would give them. I only we only buy this because of the little ones. Them. You understand? But for we one one, look, you wouldn't support it. This is all. This is what you're paying for, $5,500. Yeah, I'll share it around and let people see them, man. This is a scam we get them from churches in Linden, Region 10. A child's innocence is a sacred trust. A trust that was brutally shattered in the case we are about to discuss. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of our newsletter. Today, we delve into a disturbing case that highlights the urgent need for justice and protection for our children. A chilling reality came to light in 2017, when a jury found Michael Abrams guilty of the horrific act of raping a six-year-old girl. The details of this case are heart-wrenching. Justice Simone Morris Ramlaw of the Demerara High Court handed down life imprisonment, a sentence that reflects the gravity of the crime. Undeterred, Abrams challenged his conviction and sentence. His defense claimed a miscarriage of justice, alleging unfair treatment and inadmissible evidence. But the question remains, can any justification ever be found for such a monstrous act? Let's remember the victim in this case, a young girl whose life has been irrevocably altered. Her courage in coming forward is a testament to her strength. The Court of Appeal has delivered its verdict, Abrams' convictions stand. While they reduced his parole eligibility from 35 to 20 years, the message is clear, there is no leniency for those who prey on the innocent. This ruling is a victory for justice. It sends a strong message that child sexual abuse will not be tolerated in our society. The case of Michael Abrams is a stark reminder of the darkness that exists among us. It is imperative that we create a safe environment for our children. We must be vigilant, report any suspicious activity, and support survivors. Let's come together as a community to protect our children. If you or someone you know is a victim of child abuse, please reach out to local child protection hotline or organization. Is anyone interested in the job? We're doing some sea defense here, sir. Yeah. A couple bowlers here. So we need couple drivers, man. You gotta drive far from here to over there. And this is the truck here, so you gotta drive. <laughs> the truck here, sir. If you're interested, just send in your phone number, your CV, and you're ready to walk.
Educator's tragic end. Headmaster dies after family attack. Breaking news from Banassica Creek. An incident that has left an entire community in shock. A respected headmaster is dead just one day after a brutal beating, allegedly at the hands of his own family. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any news stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. In today's video, we bring you a tragic story that has sent shockwaves through the small, close-knit community of Banasica Creek, East Bank Essequibo. Kapil Dave Ramsamuj, a 41-year-old father of two and the dedicated headmaster of Banasica Primary School, has passed away under heartbreaking circumstances. Just one day before his death, Ram Samuj was viciously attacked by the relatives of his reputed wife in an incident that has left many questioning how something so horrifying could happen. As we dive into the details of this case, we'll explore what led to this tragedy and the profound impact it has had on those who knew him. Ram Samuj's life was marred by a turbulent relationship with his wife, who frequently left him and their children behind, only to return later. This ongoing turmoil reached a boiling point on Sunday, August 11th, when Ram Samuj desperately tried to prevent his wife from leaving again by holding onto one of her sons. This act of desperation quickly escalated into violence, as his wife and her relatives, who were allegedly intoxicated, began to beat him savagely. Captured on video, the disturbing scene shows Ram Samuj sitting in a wooden boat, clutching his stepson while his wife and her family unleash a barrage of blows. Despite his pleas and the child's cries, the assault continued, with Ram Samuj injuring multiple slaps across his face before he lay motionless in the boat. Though he managed to walk away afterward, the damage had been done. The next day, Ram Samuj was found dead, a tragic end to a life spent in service to his community. The community was left reeling after the news of Ram Samuj's death broke. His family, friends, and students were devastated by the loss of a man they described as kind, strict, yet always willing to lend a helping hand. Social media lit up with tributes, painting a picture of an educator who was deeply committed to his students and a father who, despite his personal struggles, always tried to do what was best for his children. The police are now involved, with a report filed at the Paraka police station and an investigation underway. The circumstances surrounding Ram Samuj's death have raised serious concerns, and many are calling for justice to be served. The video of the beating has sparked outrage, with viewers horrified by the violence that was inflicted upon him.